As you can see, there's a little Eastern Water Dragon just coming out of the egg. And they do it in stages. They pop their head out and then take a deep breath for a while and then come a bit further. So I've had 11 hatch in the last half a day, I guess. These are the last two out of the 13 from the first eggs laid for the season. The last egg here has got a nice split in it, but haven't seen the head come out yet. So we'll keep an eye on it. And he's just going to let him settle for a while. I'll come back in an hour. He'll probably be running around on the top and running over that egg which caused him to open up as well i just got a substrate of vermiculite with a bit of a water then squeezed out just to keep the humidity up over the period of incubation if i see the eggs drying out i'll just give them a spray of bottle over the top to keep the humidity up so yeah that's one of the eastern water dragons ready to come out of his egg. I'll come back 20 minutes later to check on him and he's already come out. So I didn't get a video of him coming out the last bit. But yeah, the other egg still there, sitting there. So that could be another half a day yet. It's the last one to go, but all their tails look good and they're all nice and healthy. I'll show you the a lot of them once they're all hatched. Got all the Eastern Water Dragons in a glass tank just in the laundry for now. So I just got a heat lamp on top that I'll turn off and on every day. And I just got a underground heating cord just to give them a bit of warmth during the night. So I'm just letting them rest for a few days before I look at feeding them. So they're all just sitting there. It's chilling. There's been a few in the water every now and then. There's a few different colours. There's a few dark ones and lighter ones. So it's got the one more egg there to go. No one there just opened up. And he's already in there. So I'll just spray him down with the mister just to get some of the vermiculite off him. Clean up and change all the padding on the bottom. They've got nice colours. As you can see. Now I'll continue once the last one's hatched. Last one back in the incubator, just up the top there. That one there is just to keep humidity, so I fill up with water every now and then. So the next one's um, those ones here, well, they're going to be ready in a few weeks. And I've got another nine, and it looks like there's about nine in that one as well. So I've been keeping them at around 30 degrees the whole time. And it's supposed to be about 60 days to hatch. These ones actually about 55 days. So it's a bit earlier than... We've had a few hot days here in Adelaide, so it's expected. So I'll just wait on that last one to hatch and I'll just check these daily again.